Welcome to the broadcast. Health is yours. You are sickless. Diseases cannot assess your body because Jesus has paid the price for your health. Hallelujah. I'm reading from the book of 1 John chapter 3, verse number 8. I'm so excited about this scripture. It says, He that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Like we saw yesterday, that from the beginning, God never created man with sicknesses and diseases. In fact, he packaged man for health. So the scripture we saw yesterday said everything that God created were good. Your liver, good. Your kidney, good. Your blood system, good. And that the moment of change was when Adam and Eve ate the forbidden fruit, which is the reason why the scripture says he that committed sin is of the devil. So humanity was sold to the devil. And the first thing in the list of the devil, when you enter his kingdom, is sicknesses and diseases. There's nothing good about Satan. There's nothing good about alliance with his kingdom because he's a liar and the father of all lies. He is come that he may kill, may steal your good health, kill your good health, and destroy you. But this scripture today is the hope and the essence of our believing in health and believing in good health especially. This scripture said, for this purpose, for the purpose of this sin, for the purpose of the being sold out to the plan and the purpose of the devil, which is sicknesses and diseases, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested. That's talking about Jesus. That he might destroy the works of the devil. Jesus came to destroy fever, to destroy malaria, to destroy cataract, to destroy cancers, to destroy arthritis, to destroy diabetes. Jesus came to destroy hypertension. He is the destroyer. And the scripture says he has manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Sicknesses and diseases are the works of the devil. That's why Jesus came. So when the devil brings sickness upon your body, it is illegal. It is illegal when you feel sick because Jesus has already come. He has already paid the price. So this is exactly the picture I normally painted whenever I'm trying to explain to you how the plan of God is that you should keep claiming your help. Imagine you park your car in the street and you, you know, maybe you walked out and suddenly you were coming back and you met one strong looking, you know, haggard or hard looking guy by the door of your car. And then you look at the guy and he's looking so strange and you are like, oh my goodness, what's this guy doing here? But the keys in your hand. Two options you are left with. Number one, to be afraid and run away and leave your car because you saw a stranger standing by it and walk home. And that is what is called spiritual cowardness. Number two, which is the option of believer, is to go there and say, excuse me, please, I want to drive off. And the guy will give you a chance because you are claiming what belongs to you. So when, when you become shaking out and you feel sick and you're like, the devil has come and you're like, hey, oh, I've caught flu or I've caught uh, COVID-19 or whatever. Every time you feel sick and see something trying to tamper with your health, all you need to do is to say in the name of Jesus, headache, you don't belong here. You know, hallelujah. Cast out the devil. Tell the devil to go to hell. Jesus has, destroyed, has come to destroy. He's not going to. He came to destroy. He has manifested to destroy the works of the devil. And so he left you in charge to keep destroying sicknesses and diseases anywhere you are. I don't know if you're ready with, for me this morning. Let's destroy some evil sensation in your body or in your future. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you because it's a great news to know that Jesus came to destroy the work of the devil. And we thank you because as he is, so are we in this world. So we claim the authority in the name of Jesus and we speak alive into the body, into the spirit, into the soul of anyone listening to this broadcast. We rebuke sickness in their body. We destroy sicknesses. The works of the devil in their in their heart, in their ovaries, in their reproductive system, in their nervous system. Any part of your body that the devil is trying to tamper with, Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. We cast you out, we command you, go! And we release healing upon everyone listening now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.